it's your boy coming back at you with another unboxing so um in the last one we got a 25th century rare uh dark magician oh my light falling over oh fell over again 25th century uh rare dark magician so um hopefully we get a different one this time the packs in themselves are okay i can see those kind of promo packs um going for a lot of money um i'd say a lot probably like around the 15 around the 10 pound mark um because you know these kind of classic packs people are paying a lot of money for them but really if it, if it was me i'd be after the promo packs the ones with like the god cards and stuff in them rather than getting these old school cards i don't i don't know if they'd be worth anything um beyond sentimental value i did see some good ones in there though i can't lie i did see some I did see some some nice ones in there that I recognise from um, the uh, the old Yu-Gi-Oh Worldwide editions there. Um, plus, if you're looking for boxes to hold your cards in, look no further than this beautiful box. Um, Konami really pulled it out of the bag for this one. So we've got again, we've got the kind of um, the promo cards which are not allowed to use in matches because Konami sucks. Um, so we'll put that to the side. Um, be kind of just unpacking these as we go and just kind of discussing them. So yeah, again, I wasn't super impressed with these. Um, it's like just over 20 quid a bag, uh, box. So I kind of wish Konami did uh, did more, you know, included more hollows and stuff. Um, but yeah, you know, we are where we are. Oh, got an Umi here. That's that's good. I can't remember the guy's name. Mako, I think his name was. Um, see, Umi, Umi decks are quite good now. So all fish, sea serpent, thunder, and aqua monster in the field gain 200 attack points. And all machine and pyro monsters lose uh, 200 uh, attack and defense points. So um, Umi really pairs with a lot of other cards. Um, they can get like direct attacks. So I've got like a, an Umi deck, like a really basic one. Uh, King Fog. So uh, a fiend that dwells in the Binding Caves. 1,000 uh, 1, attack, 900 defense, okay. Or Legendary Sword. I think it's a Joey Classic. Equipped to Warrior Monster gains 300. So all right. Um, Tython, again, pretty dead. Um, oh, this one, two, two pronged attack. I used to have this one. So you have to give up two, select and destroy two of your monsters and one of your opponent's monsters. Not the best card in the world, but I remember it well. It's one of the old decks. Um, Witty Phantom, another one in the old decks. Uh, 1400 attack, not great. Um, if you did one of the old Yu Gi Oh decks against the new meta Yu Gi Oh decks, you'd get beaten in about six turns. Um, probably not even that, probably three. Uh, Dragon Treasure. A dragon type monster equipped with this gains 300 attack points. Uh, so right, vile germs, um, shouts out COVID. A plant type monster equipped with this gains th uh, 300 attack and defense, which is all right. Um, back to Umi, so unless I got two of those, which I didn't, that would have been interesting, right? Um, so do that one. Because like I said, these packs were hyped quite aggressively. Um, people saying, oh, you know, you need to get yours before they run out, etc. Um, when and unless and this playing Boomer Yu Gi Oh, this pack's kind of garbage. I'll, I'll be I'll be real. Let's see what we got. Ooh, a fusion. Um, let's see. Uh, what's that say? Octo Ogre Beam. Sorry. Uh, Ocu Beam uh, plus Thunder Ball. 1900 attack fusion. I mean, that's, that's not great. I'll be honest, that's not great. Crawling dragon. Uh, ready to pack one of these. Five star, 1600 attack. Not great. Thunder dragon's a good pickup. Um, you can discard this card. Add up to two thunder dragons from your deck. You can actually build a thunder dragon deck. Um, so this one, this one's a good pickup. Yeah. Um, let's see. Star boy. That's me. Um, all aqua. Let's see. This card remains as long as this card remains face up on the field. All water monsters gain 500 attack and lose 400 defense. Quite good, actually. Pair that with Umi. Oh, Hollow Solemn Judgment. Damn, that looks good. See, when a monster would be summoned or a spell or trap card activated, pay half your life points to negate the activation. Um, if people started using this a lot more now, um, like these kind of Solemn Judgment cards. Um, so that's quite cool. Yeah, getting a Hollow one of those is nice. Uh, Feral Imp. Um, it's okay. It's a classic Yu-Gi-Oh card. I think, uh, what's his name? Uh, Yugi used to roll with this card. Uh, Harpy Lady, that's a my card. Uh, trash, but it's okay. Uh, Deep Sea Shark, let's see. Bottom Dweller, which a card I packed earlier. And Tongyo, I think that is. Ground Attacker, Bug Growth, um, pretty trash. 
or back to uh, Kiminari attack. So um, not great. The Umi pack really being the winner here, the first one. Um, I can't imagine how much people actually paid for these packs. It must have been like two quid or something back then. See, War Shadow. Let's see, cannot be special summoned or set. Must be special summoned with Magical Labyrinth. So I think this is a card that the Paradox Brothers used. Griggle, I'm not familiar with this card at all. See, when uh, see when the control of the face up, uh, this face up card on the field shifts to your opponent, increase your life points by 300 points. Uh, this card's going to trash. See, Eternal Rest. I think I remember this one. Destroy a monster with equip cards. Yeah, this one's a good one. Uh, situational, though. He uh, he Hero Shadow Scout is another uh, classic. Flip your opponent. Uh, your opponent draws three cards. Both players look at the cards. If there are any spell cards among them, discard the cards. Trash. Uh, oh, a Hollow Black Illusion Ritual, though. Oh, this pack. Oh, that's good. Um, this card is used to ritual summon Relinquished. Uh, you must also uh, tribute a, a monster from your hand or field with one star or more. Getting that, that's a good pick. Um, upstart Goblin, it's alright. Draw one card, your opponent gains a thousand uh, points. Okay, I guess. Um, let's see, increase the attack of all earth monsters by 500 points and decrease their defense by uh, 400. So increase by 5, decrease by 4, it's fine. Uh, twin long rods, uh, it's kind of trash. Um, darkness approaches. Um, so you discard one card from your hand, select one, face up monster on the field, change defense position, so okay. Um, back to wall shadow, so again, um, nice, oh, camera shaking a bit there. It's a nice uh, hollow we got, um, so it's fine. Um, let's see, a few more packs to go through. W would I recommend buying this box? Um, if you wanted the promo cards and stuff, then probably. Um, but I'd say wait for the price to go down. I probably paid too much. It's about twenty-two pounds. Um, skip your own standby phase. That's a weird. It's a situ very situational card. Oh, light of intervention. This one's a good one. So uh, continuous trap. Let's see. Let's see. When this card is on the field, uh, monster cards cannot be set or flipped face down. If a monster card would be set. It must be normal summoned in face down in face up defense position. This one's a good one, depending on who you're fighting. Oh, this one's a classic as well. Uh, double tribute, um, twenty seven hundred and fifty points attack. This one's a good one. Um, I do remember this card. A metal detector. You can activate this card when a continuous trap is activated. Negate all continuous trap cards during the turn. This card is activated. It's, it's fine, I guess. No woman of extermination, a classic. See so one one so target one face down spell or trap card on the field. Destroy that target. And then banish it. If it was a trap card, each player um, reveals their main deck, then banishes um, banishes all cards with the same name. This one's a good one. Um, the All Seeing White Tiger. I think I remember this one. A proud uh, ruler of the jungle that some fear and others respect. I mean, with 1300 attack, no one's respecting you, bro. Um, the Regulation of the Tribe. Activate this card by declaring one monster, one type, one monster type. Uh, monsters on the field, on that field type, can't declare attacks. Once per turn, during your standby phase, tribute one monster or destroy this card. I mean, it's alright. Yeah, if you're facing someone with a, like, dra a dragon deck, it can work. Attack and receive, classic. Uh, you can activate this card when you take battle damage to your life points, inflict 700 points of damage to your opponent, inflict 300 for every attack and receive in your graveyard. So that one's alright. Um, if you've got like three of them, you can do decent damage. Driving Snow, I think I remember this. Um, you, when you can activate this card when one or more of your trap cards are destroyed and sent from the field to the graveyard by a card effect, your opponent controls destroy one spell or trap card on the field. It's all right. Um, back to Solomon's uh, law box. Your law book, even. So it's all right. Um, I think we've got two more packs. No, one more pack. No, two more. Two more to go through. Um, so let's have a look. Um, let's see, this one, I think Alexis had this one. Outstanding Dogma, and when this card is sent to your graveyard, shuffle it into your deck, which is an interesting one. Um, Thousand Needles, let's see. Does my light, the thing that's impacting it? Oh, that seems to help a bit. I think my hand gets in the way, though. Let's see. Let's 
when this uh, defense position card is attacked and if the defense of this card is higher than the attack of the attacking monster destroy the attacking monster at the end of damage step that one's all right actually um yeah that one's fine 1800 defense points as well it's quite good four star as well contact with the dark monster i think this is for zork yeah the when this card this card is used to ritual summon dark master zork uh you must also tribute monsters from your hand equal to or field whose level equals eight or more so this obviously zork being one of the main villains in uh in Yu-Gi-Oh. so it's pretty cool rod of the mind's eye for monster equip this card does battle damage to your opponent the damage becomes 1000 points so that one's all right um let's see dark bishop archfiend once per turn during your standby phase you must pay 500 life points um this is not optional uh or this card is destroyed when resolving See, an opponent's card effect that targets an Archfiend monster, you control, roll a six-side dark... Oh, so this is the card that, um, a card that the Dark Rider uses against Jaden in his match. A deal with the Dark Ruler, so another Zork base card. See, this card is always treated as an Archfiend card. If a level eight or higher monster um, under your control is sent to the graveyard, this turn special summon one Berserk Dragon from your hand or graveyard. Berserk Dragon. Don't even know what card. I don't remember that card. Oh, Sasuke Samurai 2. Uh, once per turn during your main phase, you can pay 800 life points. If you do, if you do this until the end phase, spell and trap cards cannot be activated. So it's so alright, uh, I guess, uh, depending on who you're facing. Uh, Fairy Spring. Target one equipped card in your graveyard. Add that target to your hand. The equipped spell cannot be activated this turn. That's a, it's an alright card. Um, contract with Exodia. If you have all five um, of the Exodia, the Forbidden One, right arm, or the Forbidden One, left arm, right leg, left leg in your graveyard, special summon one Exodia Necros from your hand. So um, a guy, I think Kyber's dad, or Kyber's stepdad uses this, uh, the Exodia Necros uh, card. So that one's a good pick, um, I think. So that's that's all right. Got our final pack here, and then we go on to promos. Um, again, I, I think the last box I had was better, but that's not saying much. Um, cat's struggling a bit with all the all the crinkling noises. I think he's well, that's gonna hurt some people who open the packs of scissors next time. People promise. Smashing ground. Um, and I've got one of these already. Destroys the opponent's monster with the highest defense. Big koala. Yes, a Chun Li card. Yes. Let's see a species of huge uh, des koala. But people are afraid of him because he's very powerful. Yeah, 2,700 points. The fusion card for this is quite good. Uh, sea Serpent of um, of Darkness, right? 1,800 points, 4 star. Can't complain. Chaos End. You can only activate this if 7 or more of your cards are currently removed from play. Destroy all monsters on the field. I think Chaz uses this card as well. Um, Stray Lambs, this card's alright. Um, special Summon 2 Lamb Tokens in defense position. So again, I think someone uses this against the Chaz. Oh yes, a hero emerges. You love to see it. Yes, classic Jaden card. Pick a card from my hand. Oh, I've only got one. Too bad for you. Um, Fenrir, Let's see. Uh, this card cannot be normal summoned or set. This card can only be special summoned by removing two water monsters in your graveyard from play. When this card destroys an opponent's monster as a result of battle, your opponent skips her next draw phase. His or her next draw phase. Good card. Fiend's Hand Mirror. Switch the opponent's um, spell card that targets one spell or trap card to the correct target. So it's all right. It's a bit situational. Gale Lizard. This is a card I used back at, um, back in the uh, GX game. Target one monster your opponent um, controls. Return that target to the hand. Um, Penguin Penguin Warrior is better. To be fair. Penguin Soldier. I think it's a better card. So that's that pack. Um, that's all of them. Um, and so we go on to promos. I wonder if this box, no, I wonder this box had enough depth where you could stand up the cards. Um, so obviously we've got the uh, Obelisk the Tormentor again. Um, the descent of this mighty creature will be heralded by burning uh, winds and twisted land. Um, and with the coming of this horror, those who draw breath shall know the meaning of eternal slumber. So he's the Night King, effectively. Um, we've got the Divine Beast, um, Slife of the Sky Dragon. We've got obviously the best one, in my opinion, like from the anime, the Winged Dragon of Ra. Uh, we've got Limited Edition Blue Eyes White Dragon, um, Limited Edition Dark Magician. 
I can see the 25th anniversary card. It calls my name the Red Eyes Black Dragon, and I'm hoping it's not a Dark Magician. Oh, another Dark Magician. Oh, oh I might trade it with my friend then. I'll see what he's got. I wanted an Egyptian God card, I'll be honest. Oh, the worst thing is I want these from two different places. Well, what are the chances of getting two 25th anniversary Dark Magicians? Man, but uh, yeah. No, I, I can't be too disappointed to it's a good card to pack, I guess. You know, it's the it's the most iconic Yu-Gi-Oh card in the sense of it's it's uh, Yu-Gi's top dom. But another one, I've got two now. I don't, I don't know what to do. Um, but yeah, that will wrap up this video. I'll ask my mate if he's got two. He got two boxes as well. If he's got two Dark Magicians, then clearly Konami or Yu-Gi's infiltrated the the deck box or something. I don't know. But yeah, we'll leave it there. Right. Again, twenty two quid. I think is a bit steep for the for this set. I think if it drops about fifteen. I think 15 quid is probably a good a good bet, especially if you're looking for Boomer Yu-Gi-Oh cards. But um, there is a Jack Atlas structure deck coming up this year. Very excited for that. And the tin, um, the tin's going to be quite cheap. It's going to have the anniversary cards in it as well. So I'll definitely be uh, ready to check that out, depending on how finances look. But anyways, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, let me know if you bought any of these boxes, what you think of them. And I'll catch you in the next one.